welcome and welcome. Today's recipe is all about the cod. And if you mention fish in the Faroe Islands, we automatically think about the cod. The cod is famous for its white flesh and its flaky texture. Here in these oceans, where the Gulf Stream meets the Arctic currents, we have one of the most pristine waters in the world. And this is a perfect environment for the cod. It's a steady temperature and we got a lot of shrimps and crabs that the cod feeds on. And you can actually taste the crabs in this meat. When it comes to freshness of the fish, it's five parameters that you have to check. Crystal clear eyes, blood red gills, a cytoplasm that's intact, the firmness of the fish, and then it doesn't have to smell of fish, but just like the ocean. And this one is perfect, caught by my friend yesterday evening. Today's recipe is cut with French peas. It's super simple to make, it's relatively cheap, and it's just a seasonal thing. Spring, summer, you really, really want to eat a dish like this. Today I'll use the loin of the cod. It's the neck here. It's this piece which is relatively high compared to the tails. And uh, this will work really, really good for this recipe. I'll just salt it slightly and then set it aside. Next is uh, jamon. I wanted to buy some bacon this morning, couldn't find any, but the uh, jamon will work perfectly well. I'll make lardons, which is chunky bits, and then I'll pan fry them. And I'll just use some of the fat. And then I'll put the jamon, the lardons, in the pan just to crunch them up a bit. There's so much taste in the fat. And you can hear it starting to fry. The cut doesn't have that much flavor, but when you add flavor, it complements really good. So many dishes, so versatile. The cut, king of the sea. Ah, oh, all the flavors come out. Now the jamon is done. It's crunchy on the outside. Peas. I have fresh peas today. It's a thing of the summer, huh? Summertime. <laughs> Good for you that I didn't become a singer. Carrots and peas. I'll blanch them in hot water. I'll just blanch them for, I don't know, 15 seconds and then into ice water. <laughs> the shallots will give a bit of structure to the dish. And when I put them in the white wine and, and the butter, they will sweeten up. I'll make them a bit chunky so you get some structure on the palate, like that. Then I'll take some dill and chop it up. I didn't clean the pan because then I can get some of the grease from the jamon in the pan and it gives a bit of taste as well. I won't let the butter brown because we're not into those kinds of flavors today. We just want clean, fresh, simple flavors. Put in the white wine. And then I'll just poach the cut in this mixture. I want skin side up. This will take about eight minutes. It's all glossy, really nice. And then the whiteness of the fish. Oh, <laughs> not too much heat. Just gentle, gentle poaching. You can use a spoon just to cover. So you get the heat from the top as well. Right, now the cut is done. You want it to be flaky. So I'll just take the cut off and leave it to rest. Like that. Lid on. And then for the vegetables. I'll put in the shallots. You can see the shallots start softening up. 
it just gets so sweet. Then I'll add a little bit of chicken stock. Just like that. And then the peas and the carrots. They're all glossy, shiny. Ah, and these ones are done. I'll add a bit of chopped dill. Give it a swirl. And then we're gonna start plating. So I have the cut, that's done. And you can just peel off the skin. I'll put this in the center. The lardons. And then some fresh leaves of the peas. And then at last I have some mint. So here you have it, poached cod with peas francaise. <laughs> well gagnest. Mmm. It's flaky, it's simple. You got all these different tastes from the peas and the sauce and the lardons. Carrots still have bite. <laughs> this is so good. The perfect dish. I really think you should try it. You'll find this recipe, more recipes and information about seafood from the Faroe Islands at faroeseafood.com.